Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. Today we're gonna be making some Haitian cornbread. Um, Haitian pemaï, so pemaï haïtien. For this recipe, you're gonna need one cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar and one cup of white sugar, two eggs, two bananas that you will mash, one cup of flour, two cups of cornmeal, one can of evaporated milk, one can of coconut milk, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one tablespoon of ginger powder, and one tablespoon of cinnamon powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of rum, and I don't have it here right now. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one cup of shredded coconut. So let's get started. And of course, you're gonna need your bowl that you will mix everything. Let's get started for real. So the first thing you're going to do, you're gonna add the butter and the brown sugar and white sugar to the mixing bowl and then you're going to mix everything together so after about a minute and a half you're going to add the two eggs And then you can go ahead and mash the bananas with a fork, just like this. And then you're gonna go ahead and add the banana mixture, followed by the spices, as well as the baking powder. So at this point, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of rum. So now we're going to alternate between the cornmeal, the flour, and both milk, the evaporated milk, and the coconut milk. So a little bit at a time. And finally, the last thing will be to add the coconut flakes. And now you're going to preheat the oven at 350 and you're going to bake the um, cornbread for about an hour. So it could be more, could be less. So just before I add the batter, I'm going to grease those two bread pans with uh, the cooking oil. So you're going to lightly grease them and then we're going to add the batter. So 
so now they're ready to go in for about an, for an hour um, and then I'm gonna check to see if they're ready they may have to go for a bit longer so you have to keep an eye on them okay you guys exactly an hour later um, the Haitian Pemai is ready and if you want to make sure that it is ready you can insert a toothpick right in the middle if it comes out wet then you know it's not ready yet and if it comes out dry like this one then definitely it is ready so I'm gonna do this in a few spots and it's all dry I'm gonna try this one now right in the middle it's all dry so it's ready so now you're gonna let it cool and then I'll show you the end results after so I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video